So when I was growing up, my first taste of a racing game was pole position on the Atari 800XL. Does anybody else remember the really long loading times from a cassette tape and the high and low gears? Well, rolling forward to my late 30s, I had just ordered a Wheel Stand Pro and a Logitech G27. And I was moving from the Forza franchise on the Xbox seeking a more realistic racing experience and I entered the sim racing world with Project Cars and later invested to be part of the SMS development team with Project Cars 2. Another sim at that time that kept cropping up and I've heard of but I had never really given it much time or thought to be honest due to the toxic attitude projected towards it from the SMS forums. Well, obviously as from the background you would have gleaned that I'm talking about a setter Corsa. Now rolling forward another six years I've got to say a setter Corsa has to be the one size fits all racing simulation experience on the PC. Pick almost any motorsport discipline, any petrol heads wet dreams or racing cars of yesteryears and a set of Corsa caters for it. The list of mods is endless and most are free. And should you want to have a GR Yaris punching it out with a GT3 RS while racing a field of Lego cars then absolutely you can. So at seven years old, I would not say that this sim is at all overlooked. With Soul, the Shaders Patch, Content Manager, and so many other mods that still keep this up there with emerging sim titles. This has to be, I've got to be honest here guys, this has to be the most go-to sim title in sim racing currently. In fact, if you didn't know, Kunos has recently added new liveries for the Ferrari uh, Special Edition, the 488 Challenge Evo, and it's even rumoured that they're going to be adding BMW M2 CS to the sim title in the near future. That's got to be the first brand new car that Kunos has done for the sim for absolutely ages. So I think you'd all be in agreement that a set of course is probably the most rounded and customizable sim racing title currently on the market. But to be fair, that's not why I've made this video. You see, some may jump towards the later sim racing titles with the more shiny graphics. But a set of Corsa has always held a feather in its cap as being one of the best titles in VR. Now, some of you may slightly agree or may slightly disagree with that statement, but with the current release of the latest VR 4K headsets like the HP Reverb G2, Assetto Corsa is now the absolute must-go-to sim racing VR title. You may ask, well, why? Well, a set of Corsa on a 4K flat screen, without a doubt, can show its age. But when you fire a set of Corsa up in a 4K VR headset, it is without doubt the clearest, the sharpest, and the best looking VR sim racing title that I have ever seen. If your PC is something in the middle of a potato and a supercomputer, you are going to be able to, to run a set of Corsa at 4K maximum settings in VR at nearly 90 frames per second. When I say nearly, you're talking 85 to 87 FPS. Now currently, there is no other sim racing VR title on the market that I have tried that come, can come anywhere close to doing this with maximum settings not without turning the graphics down or turning the rendering resolution down there is no other racing title on the market that can do it 
See, the trouble is with VR and sim racing titles, and VR in general, is that GPUs are at least two generations behind pushing VR headsets the maximum 4K settings. But that is until the seven year old Assetto Corsa comes along. And without me just saying this to you, let's have a quick look at the through the lens of the VR headset and see what you think. So guys, just before we do get to that through the lens footage, I just wanted to throw up the VR settings. This is for the flat screen and in VR and in the VR race there I've got the footage from that you've just been watching at Spa. I had an average frame rate of 84.2 frames per second over the whole race. I think clicking on that you can see that the minimum frame rate was 62.4 frames a second but the maximum was 84.2 but that, that was the average frame rate overall. And just showing you there on screen firing up Steam VR you can see that I have got the HP Reverb G2 rendering at 100% and with 100% I am getting 84.2 frames per second in my VR races. Okay guys, so here we go with the through the lens footage. I'm going to let you guys know now, it's not perfect. Um, trying to hold the headset and an action cam that I'm capturing this footage with and keep the centre perfectly aligned is nigh on impossible without using a jiggle fixture you know like a 3d printed part that could absolutely keep the camera central to the sweet spot um, there are other youtube channels that do it so much better than me but this is just raw footage of looking in the headset now in the headset you do not get the flickering that you're seeing on the camera that is not present and perhaps with this through the lens footage it doesn't really convey how clear it does look in the headset all of the instrument panel on the steering wheel the text any of the text on the panel down to the right hand side looking in the mirrors the doors um, the screen the rear screen it is absolutely clear. Was, like, like I said to you guys, without a doubt, of the sim racing titles that I own that are VR, this is the clearest it is out of any of the other sim racing titles I've got. And the sound that you are hearing is just from between the headphones in the VR headset. Obviously the camera is central so it's not actually close to the earphones but the sound you're listening to is just from within the VR headset. As you can see there that screen although it's glitching um, showing some part of the engine in the back of it obviously it shouldn't do that. That screen is very very clear in the VR headset. I mean when you talk about VR you really need to try it out for yourself just watching this on a screen you're not going to really pick up how good it is now i took this shot here because the building in the distance with the vr headset you can clearly read the text on the side of the building there um, any other vr game that i've played so far in that sort of distance it's not that clear and that's why i think a set of course is currently one of the most important sim racing titles because the view distance that you can actually see in the headset and how clear it is really does give you a massive advantage and perspective in your racing if you are a professional racing driver i would say if you got yourself like a, a reverb g to a 4k headset with this clarity and this clear textures and things in the distance this is going to give you the best training tool that's currently available don't get me wrong other sim titles have got better graphics are better looking but we just don't have the graphics cards yet to push them to this level of clarity i mean just how clear the fences the buildings the track everything the other cars everything looks in vr in ac 
it just doesn't compare to others like Project Cars, very shimmery, glistening, a set of course of Competitia Zone suffers from the same problem, you get glistening and shimmering on objects. A set of Corsa is the only sim racing title that I've played where to be honest although it's 4k it does look like you're looking like a very clear 1080p screen in the VR headset it it really you really have to try it to um, believe it as such now this footage I, I did string a lot of footage together and I say sometimes you do get reflections and things picked up in the camera but you don't get that in the headset I think what I'm gonna do guys um, I'm just gonna let this play out and just before the video ends I'll come and do a bit of an outro but for now sit back relax and watch the footage So guys thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it please if you can subscribe to the channel and i will see you very soon peace out